Hey guys, Lucy again, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make these delicious ice pops. Super easy and super refreshing for the summer. Hope you enjoy. Now for the mango Greek yogurt pops, pretty self-explanatory, a mango and Greek yogurt. Then for the honeydew melon mojito, you're gonna need honeydew, mint, cane sugar for that mojito authenticity, and then limeade. Then for both pops, you're gonna need tin foil, cups, and popsicle sticks. So first for the mango Greek yogurt pops, you're gonna need to slice your mango and skin it. If you know this special trick or you wanna try it, go right ahead, because it's super cool. Then you're just gonna slice up your mango and get it ready to mash. Depending on how chunky or smooth you want your mango pop to be, you can either put it in a blender or mash it yourself. I wanted it to be a bit more chunky, so after mashing it, I put in the remaining mango pieces in that were unmashed so that I could have a bit more texture to the pop. Then I just layer those mangoes back onto the bottom of the cup in equal amounts. Then taking my Greek yogurt, which I got in a mango flavor to match with the pop, I mix it up so that it's not all nasty, and then I put it in a bowl and get it ready to layer into the cups. Finding life along the way Melodies we haven't played No, I don't want no Then taking a piece of tin foil, I layer that over the top of the cups and poke a little hole in it to poke the popsicle stick through and then I just pop those babies in the freezer overnight and let's get started with the next pop. Now for these honeydew melon mojitos, you're gonna need to cut up your honeydew melon into chunks, but you're not gonna mash these, you're gonna keep them in the chunks. Then you're just gonna cut up your mint so that you have it in little pieces. Then taking a bunch of honeydew melon chunks, you're gonna place those into the bottom of your cup, just about as much as you want the honeydew melon to be in your cup. Then taking a mixture of the cane sugar, mint, and some of the limeade, you're just gonna pour that in so that you can get that mint goodness right into the pop. Then to fill the rest of the pop up, you're gonna take limeade, which will help get that rest of the mint stuck at the bottom of the cup you poured the mint in with, and there are your pops. Then you're just gonna do the same thing with the tin foil, poke a hole, pop that popsicle stick through, and then just pop those babies in the freezer. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you like these pops. They were super fun to make and super delicious to eat. See you guys next time. Moving like the speed of sound.